What's up guys, DHJ6, well, um, this is my new low C22 buggy I, uh, just got, I, uh, built the kit, um, went ahead and, uh, built it for racing, got a couple of, uh, indoor tracks around here I'm gonna hit up, but, uh, went with the 13.5 turn, uh, brushless censored, uh, Gen 2 Tekken, uh, <laughs> redline motor, <laughs> it's a mouthful, um, yeah, uh, for the speed controller, it's, uh, Castle Creations, Mamba Max, one tenth scale. Can't get any better for that. I mean, that's that's about as good as you're gonna get for that. You know, I don't have to worry about uh, burning up my battery or my motors or anything. It's up to a six cell light bulb, and I'm only gonna be running a two cell, so should be good. Uh, so Venom battery, 3800 uh, milliamp uh, hours or mile, whatever you wanna call it. So 60 cell burst with 120 cell max burst rating. Got my Futaba uh, receiver transmitter. Oh yeah, so uh, basically hasn't even been driven yet. I drove it once for like five seconds outdoors just to make sure uh, the functions test everything was working. But I'm gonna go drive it on the track uh, today. Actually, here in a little bit. I just wanted to get a quick shot of it before I. Uh, Get it all dirty or break it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was a really fun build. Actually, it's my first time building a buggy. Um, a lot of guys are going with the uh, the rear wheel drive setup or the rear motor setup because they like that extra bite that you get when you're trying to launch right before the jumps or whatever. But I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the the mid motor setup. Some guys were saying you can uh hit the corners with a lot higher speed and exit the corners with a lot better uh, speed because of the mid motor handling is a little bit superior but uh yeah for 13.5 motor it's not as crazy fast as you'd think it's only a two cell I uh, might have to mess around my uh, pinion and spur these body clips are really annoying on this thing I'm gonna have to switch to velcro or something but see you guys later